It doesn't mean because you're a parent, you can be toxic and we just accept it. Just because you're my mother, it does not mean you can always, you know, say cussing words to me. You can always insult me. You can call me a prostitute. You know, you can hit me with a jiko. You can shave my hair because of going to school a day after opening day. You know, you can force me to take a subject I'm underperforming just for me to fail in my case, you see. TV presenter Happiness Odawa has exposed her mother for being a toxic parent. She turned to Edgar Obare and exposed her mother, claiming that her mother has been toxic towards her for many years. I am just tired of what my mom has put me through. She further claimed that her mother has led her to depression, leading to her being admitted at one of the facilities in Kenya. In the words of Happiness Odawa herself, her mom has been toxic to her since she joined high school in 2013, constantly abusing her, constantly cursing her, constantly not supporting her, and constantly just doing everything she could to bring her down. In a voice note she sent to BNN, she talked about how her mom even forced her to do a subject she was underperforming in while in high school. Also, she couldn't pass her KCSC examination. I've gone through a lot since 2013, since I started high school. And trust me, I have been quiet, I have respected her, I have been polite for over a decade. I am a human being, I have limits. You cannot continue to push me. Happiness Odawa shared screenshots of a conversation between herself and her mom. This conversation was taking place on their family WhatsApp group chat. But it is very much evident that in this family, there lies certain issues. In this message, we get to see Christine Odawa, who is Happiness Odawa's mom, telling Happiness that she is cast. Happiness then retaliates by telling the mom that she is the cast in her life. Then we go on and see other chats and we get to see a point where the mom is constantly telling the daughter that she is too prideful, a humble kidogo, hata in Bali. As all this is happening, happiness is also not staying quiet. She is retaliating and we can see her typing in caps, we can see her lashing out. It is clear through this chat that the communication was definitely not going well. As the chat continues, there's a point where Happiness sends a video she had created to the WhatsApp group and we see her mother responding. The mother responding is telling her that, you know, we don't really need these videos right now. We are heading to church. We won't watch it. And we can see Happiness Odawa reacting to this and telling her mom that you don't have to download it's not a must you watch you can go to church and do your things i'm just sending my video many cousins on bnn found both of them at fault and found both of them to be toxic some said that the daughter is disrespectful in her manner of speaking there's no way you address your mom like that on the other hand people fault the mom she was coming off hard with the humble thing and even though she was trying to correct her daughter she would have gone about it in a nicer way in another voice note she sent to bnn she mentioned that all she wanted is for her mother to apologize for her mother to be supportive she complained of how she would go out of her way to celebrate her mom's birthday but whenever it came to her birthday her mother wouldn't support her her mother wouldn't show up or gift her anything so these were some of the things she was calling out some of her mom's actions that she was calling out and all she wanted was an apology it does not mean just because you're a mother i can give you 500 shillings and then you throw it at me saying that do i look like a person who can be given 500 shillings on my birthday it doesn't mean that as a mother because i'm your daughter i take you on expensive dates on your birthday and you on my birthday as your daughter you don't do nothing for me and i don't speak out it doesn't mean as a mother because you're in nairobi you cannot even attend my birthday because you have someone in your house cooking chapati i mean come on let's talk about this guys let's stop the hypocrisy we are human beings and every human being has a limit so 
what I'm trying to say is I have nothing against I have absolutely nothing against my mom. I actually love my mom so much. Weirdly, I love her. Even with all these things she's been doing, telling me I'm cursed, telling me I'm never gonna go far. Nimekuwa nikieka my mom for years. Imagine nimeka na hizi vitu kwa my heart for over 10 years. So I'm taking my medication and I'm taking it a day at a time. All I'm saying is I just want my mother to apologize. I just want her to come from her high horse, acknowledge the mistakes she has done. As a happiness or dawa my daughter, I am sorry for A, B, C, and D. Let us mend our relationship. After the story was shared on BNN, as she had asked, Happiness Odawa later came back, calling out her mom once again. She claimed that her mom, Christine Odawa, had been spreading information to her friends and other people that she is not well mentally. There's even a text of the mom speaking to another person and we can see her saying that happiness is not okay. She says that happiness lost her mind about a month ago and has been on medication. Happiness Odawa rejected being mentally ill. She said she's not mad and that she is okay. She did, however, acknowledge to being diagnosed with depression and being kept under some medication to facilitate her stabilization. This is a very sad story because families are meant to be peaceful, harmonious, and even though Happiness Odawa claims to really, really, really love her mother despite all this, it is clear that the two are having some issues. Many have advised her to seek help first, to take care of herself first until she stabilizes. People have advised her to see a therapist or a specialist and ensure she completes her medication. How would you best advise happiness or dawa? Engage with us in the comments section.